Uh, how are you? Oh, by God's grace, I'm doing well. Mm. Uh, has Hobson been freed? I am free. You are free? I've, yeah, I've been given a bill, so I'm not in a cell. W when was this bill granted to you? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Around uh, what yeah. time? I was I was called three days ago, around 5, 5.30 p.m. That's it's a report at the uh, police headquarters, 10 a.m. And I told them I have a, a TV program. I will close around that time, so after the program. So after the program, I decided to find something to do before. Then it started raining. So I bought the 12 noon. Then they walked me to the TID board uh, office, the COP for Steve. Then he asked them whether they told me why I've been invited. They said no. So we played a video, a program I played in um, uh, at IFM on the comment of the strategy to prevent Togolese from voting in Ghana. So they played and they asked, so even if over there, he did not ask any question. He just said, they are referring me to the Greater Accra Regional Headquarters. So three of his men from headquarters who accompanied me to the region. So I asked, is it a petition and who petitioned? And he said, it's not a petition from anybody. It's the police who saw it and then they decided to investigate. I said, okay, very well. So we went there. And you told me that this time they've agreed that such cases they will not handle it in the headquarters. Whichever region the thing happened, then they refer you to the regional headquarters. And I asked them, then why Greater Accra do I said, Oh, the interview was done in Accra. And I said, Okay, no problem. We went there, we sat. And they played the footage. I listened. They asked me. I said, yes, it's me. And I owe everything that I said in the interview. Then they asked why. And I said, look, one thing you people are forgetting is that all these things happen in Togo. I'm saying I am preventing a non-national from participating in our election. How can I do that in Ghana? I cannot do that in Ghana. So I visited them. We had a series of meetings, and we all agreed on certain terms. So that is what happened. And the name Dynamite, when the guy said, oh, they will use Dynamite, we said, okay. Not knowing... They were talking about this uh, firecracker. So it is the money that they were requesting. I said, ah, which dynamite would this money buy? So later on, before I was told that it was this uh, firecracker, I will not say all the strategy on there. So they did same, and actually, it worked. I have said this several times. Those who monitor me on boiling point of my FM, I've said this thing not less than four times on my on FM. Why now? So, after saying all this, they saw that hmm, they said, so I asked them whether they have jurisdiction over Togo, they said, then the regional commander said, it doesn't mean when I commit a crime in a different country. And, and I'm asked whether, I was going to ask whether Togo authority has made a complaint to Ghana. Then my lawyer told me that that one is a matter of law, so I should leave it to him when we get to court. So I just kept quiet. But you see, the way the police service that's allowed themselves to be used. It's very unfortunate. After
after saying this, they had nothing to do again. They asked me to you know, go to where they will be taking my statement. And the guy, the investigator, was going up and down, up and down. Then finally, he came, he wrote that they are investigating me on false publication. False publication. <laughs> false publication. Whatever you pay to me, I have owned it. I say, yes, it's me. And I own all these comments. But the thing did not happen in Ghana. And you still continue to say you are investigating me on false publication. That one is a matter of law. So when we get to court, uh, we are going to, the lawyers are going to deal with it. So we leave that one uh, to court. When we went to court, they detained me. We did all we can. They say it's a, a power from above. That one, even, even at the uh, CID board office, he said, we are going to the region. They are in touch and then with others. They are in touch with others. Who are the others? So it gives me a clue what they are going to do. But you see, there is one gentleman at the Jubri house who thinks I have disgraced him. And there is one old lady at the Jubri house. And they picked a minister in addition. They orchestrated all these things. Look, nothing will intimidate me. Nothing will intimidate me. You can put me to sell, you can do whatever. My mouth is my mouth. Nobody can take my mouth from me. And nobody can intimidate me. That one, I want to state it clear to MPP people that the power you are enjoying, my sweat, my everything is part. So you cannot use that power uh, that we, we fought for to intimidate me. It will ne ha never happen in this country. It will never happen in this country. When they say one, I will say one. So, so this is what transpired. You won't stop talking. Why should I stop talking? I will talk. Now they will open the gate for me. I decided not to say anything. Look, when Asante Bediato took my job from me, 2019, did you hear me saying anything about that in this country? 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, we are in 2012, six years. And you allowed these boys to be say, writing rubbish about me. I have to come and tell them why I was sent from airport, as they are going to say. And I said, okay, if you want to know, I was not sacked. And Santi Bediatu took my job from me and gave it to his Nigerian wife. What wrong have I committed? He took your job from you and gave it to his Nigerian wife? Yes. What job were you doing? I was at the airport in charge of the VIP. And now, the wife is doing that job. And it has been commercialized. They take $300 per passenger. He, he took the job of you being in charge of the VIP from you, commercialized it, and gave it to his wife. They are charging yes. $300 for it. Yes. From 2019 up to now, they've not paid a peso to Ghana Airport Company. And you are there that they should go and then lock hopes in. You see, the JDM advocacy group has started off. JDM? Uh, yeah. What is JDM advocacy when, group? When power changes, my group will be JDM advocacy group. We are going to make sure all those who have committed uh, uh, financial loss to the state who are involved in corruption in one way or the other, we are going to pressure the new government to change them. So the charge against you is false publication. That's false the charge on yeah. Okay. Yes. And that's why you were held. That's right. And you're saying you were held because the police were ordered to hold you. They, they, they said it in presence of me and my lawyer they that they are waiting for a response from above 
And because they are not getting that, they have to go and detain me at Ministry's police station. That one, those police officers, none of them can de uh, deny me. Can that above no, not be the CID director general who you met first? Ah, they were in, uh, CID directors rep were there, sitting there. They were there. Three, three, three. You see. Mr. Ketia, Mr. J, and the one investigator. They were there. They were there at the region. And they said they were waiting for instruction from above. But you are clear. We, we, we are not going to tolerate that. Too. But you are saying that you, you said a gentleman, an old lady, a minister. I am not going to mention them. You let me put it there. For them to know that I know all what they are doing. A gentleman at, at the Jubilee House, an old lady at the Jubilee House. Yes. And a minister. And a minister. They orchestrated all this. You said putting they feel pressure, that you, you, you've Putting pressure them. on the police. They put pressure on the police to arrest you. Hello? Is that right? Oh, I seem to have lost it. Uh, well, so that that, that is uh, Hobson Adoy. Um, he says this issue is happening in Togo, and uh, he was wondering if the CID has jurisdiction in Togo. But Keating, uh, what the police are held in for is for false publication. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah. So false publication as yes, in what he's saying is not true or what? Uh, I, I, they are, so they are investigating him for false publication. Remember, which means that involves a matter of speech. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say I say something about you. They were reporting for false publication. Mm -hmm. You're saying the police can just detain me. And be sending me to court from it, 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 for false publication. Is that not criminalization of speech? I, I, I'm actually not getting the whole false publication I don't understand thing because if coming. if he says this is what happened and this is what I did, what aspect of it is the, are they emphasizing the false publication for? Is it that uh, it didn't happen okay. and he says it, it happened or he has no right to publicize such an information? I don't know. And if it's false publication, why is the police uh, the one investigate the matter on their own? Because if you are talking about publication, the publication has to be about someone mm -hmm. or something. There has to be an interested party. So where does the police come into false publication? Any other criminal charge would have made sense to me. But if I publish something, you arrest me for false publication. I'm wondering how you got to the conclusion the that it was false. false. That's what I'm saying. I haven't mentioned your name in the publication. No. So why, how did you conclude and that? I don't know if they would like was to amend the charge, the charge as in uh, false publication. Interesting. Yeah. I, I need to. This, this thing now uh, is is getting out of hand uh, because this this seems this this sounds like criminal criminalization of speech to be very 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 frank with you. But that's what if, he if, says. If it is dynamite going off, is, is that not within um, security? Yeah, but but they are not. So why but, the but they are not then are charging him with anything having to do with security uh, and uh, causing fear and panic. That's it. Or that's it. They, he says that they, they told him the charge is false publication, <laughs> and I'm saying that as a media person, I've been doing this job for some some time now. If you're talking about publication, a publication, every publication involves who, mm -hmm. what, when, why, but who is key. When it comes to somebody raising an issue against your publication. Okay, let, let's let's extend the, the boundaries of the conversation. He said he was an... No, not that he said he was. He's an, a, a member of the MPP, and at the time, that was one of their yeah. um, strategies, election strategies, yeah. to uh, deter people from so-called Togo... The so-called people from Togo coming to vote in the election. So uh, if it is a strategy of the MPP at the time, and he is a member of the MPP and did it on behalf of the MPP. Could it be the MPP that is calling um, um, the false publication accusation? 
Yeah, yeah because if, no, but the, let's, let's but feel free to police, extend the boundaries. No, but he says the police say. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what he's told us this morning. The police say they are investigating it out of their own because their attention yeah. was drawn to it. So the MPP has not reported anything to him. Yes. Now, if you take it from <laughs> the police, from the police, okay, uh -huh. then it doesn't even make sense. Yes, then it doesn't add up. even make sense because an organization, an entity, an individual has to say, "You publish this about me, and it is a false publication." Yeah. So I'm just trying to do. Um, um, yeah. So break it down, and it doesn't. Everything does not add up. Anyway, uh, false we're just speaking to yes, false publication, false publication. So as as I sit here. The police can come and arrest so, me and say that we heard you say something. Was the reason they were moving him from one place to another? Yeah, from one place to another. False public. To court and all that. Yeah. Well, he said we've gone to great extent in this country to be very careful about what, how we treat people for speaking. President Ekufuado has applauded himself <laughs> without anybody applauding him for being playing a huge part in that. There are those who know the history <laughs> and say no, he's. He's giving himself too much credit than he deserves. But after doing all this, if this is the way speech is treated, because if you immediately yeah. say publication, you're yeah. talking about speech. Yeah. It's speech. I, I think whether reading Sorry. Okay. I think that there is a